My name is Officer Cadet Tom Delaney. I'm a second year trainee officer at the Australian Defence Force Academy studying a Bachelor of Science. Uh, before joining the Defence Force, I wasn't 100% sure about whether or not uh, ADFA was for me. So I conducted the Army Officer Gap Year program in 2022 and I decided that an Army career is exactly what I needed. And after conducting the Gap Year, I decided that ADFA was the best way that I could pursue my own tertiary studies whilst also setting myself up for a long career uh, in the Australian Army. I think a key misconception that a lot of people have about the Defence Force before joining is that there is a very specific type of person who is suited to military service and that if you don't fit that mould, you won't perform as well as those who do. Uh, so I was nervous before I joined that I didn't fit the mould of someone that was uh, suited to be in the Army. However, during my time at ADFA, I've, dis I've discovered that that's completely untrue and that diversity is where a lot of capability of the Defence Force is derived from. So at ADFA, diversity is celebrated and everyone's uh, varying backgrounds and interests provide enhanced capability for the Defence Force. And the only thing that I have in common with my brothers and sisters next to me is the shared mindset and passion about leading future uh, members of the Defence Force. I chose to join the Army uh, because growing up, I always had the desire to become a part of an organisation that was larger than myself and be able to contribute to a meaningful cause that I knew would have an effect on a large group of people and be able to influence positive change in the world. The key difference between ADFA and any civilian universities is the people and the relationships with uh, those we have around us. For example, uh, at the Australian Defence Force Academy, our neighbours also happen to be our best friends and our colleagues, and by third year, they turn into our brothers and sisters. Uh, so throughout our time at ADFA, purely because of the adversity we face through our joint training, uh, we build relationships which are unlike anything else you'll experience in the rest of your life. And that is simply something that uh, those at civilian universities won't get to experience. Uh, there are dozens of extracurricular activities available. I, uh, every week I find out about a new one uh, that's coming up. I personally am involved with the Academy Rugby Club as well as the Military Skills Club and the Adventure Training Club. Essentially any hobby or activity that you're passionate about in your everyday life back home, there is the opportunity to conduct that activity at ADFA as well. There's very high emphasis placed on the importance of sport in particular but also other extracurricular activities uh, and we have plenty of opportunity to pursue those personal hobbies uh, in our own time. The classes at ADFA are fantastic. Uh, so all classes at ADFA are run by staff from the University of New South Wales, Canberra. Uh, so the academic staff are of the same calibre that you would find in any other uh, large scale university. The key difference, however, is that uh, because of ADFA's relatively small size in comparison to other major universities, is that the staff to student ratio is much higher than in any other university that you'll find, which means there is much more appetite for small tutorials and asking questions uh, for your, to deepen your understanding. <laughs> military training at ADFA is divided into two key components. The first of these is joint military training, uh, which consists primarily of physical training and also military lectures focused on strategy and personal development, which we are assessed on throughout the year. The second component of uh, military training is single service training, in which you proceed on training blocks with the rest of your service cohort. For example, for Army, during our mid-semester breaks, uh, we'll proceed onto training blocks in the field, uh, which are focused on teaching us individual soldier skills and learning how to fight in the field in order to prepare us for our subsequent officer training. All of this training is conducted uh, having been de-conflicted with university staff, so there's no conflict between university and our military training. A typical day at ADFA for me commences at 0700, uh, where myself and the rest of my division will proceed to roll call, uh, and after that, everyone will commence their morning routine. For me, I'll go and grab my friends and we'll go to the mess for a morning breakfast. Uh, and after that, we'll move into our military training from 0800 to 1000, uh, which usually consists of PT or a uh, military lecture. After that time, we'll move over and commence our university studies for the day in which we have a regular university uh, timetable of classes. 
and during our time without classes we're free to conduct our own study or personal training as required. From 1800 most people will move into their uh, sports training for the day and then uh, head to the mess for an evening dinner before uh, shutting down for the day. At ADFA, we have access to some world-class training facilities of a variety of nature. So the university side has some excellent uh, facilities, including libraries, lecture theatres, laboratories, uh, and everything you can imagine from a regular university. And on the military side of campus, we have sporting fields, golf courses, swimming pools, uh, advanced gyms, as well as uh, shooting facilities and everything else you can imagine. The facilities are outstanding. Uh, living on campus is fantastic, purely due to the uh, increased convenience of having all the critical parts of my life essentially within a 500 metre radius. So I live next door to all of my best friends, I have access to catering facilities, the gym, all of my university facilities as well as military facilities uh, within a small radius. Additionally, uh, the base is within close proximity to the city and the heart of the nation in Canberra, uh, which is very exciting and it means that I can do all of the activities that I would like to do uh, in my free time. If you are considering coming to ADFA, it is the perfect place for you to develop yourself as a leader whilst pursuing your own tertiary studies and making the friends of a lifetime. All you need to do is commit, get on top of your paperwork, get fit, and we'll see you for basic training soon.